Hello everyone, my name is Hafo and uh, I've got another tutorial for you guys today and it's After Effects again. But uh, before we get into it, I just want to thank you guys so much for, uh, I think I've got 175 subs now. Which is amazing because I had uh, 15 yesterday morning. So uh, I thank you all so much. Uh, we got another After Effects tutorial as I say. And I've been getting quite a lot of requests to do Vegas. But at the moment I can't do that and I'll speak to you about that later in the video. So let's get started. Uh, as you saw in the preview, it was um, it was a like a, tra a a cinematic, and uh, basically the background was blurred out, but the player wasn't, and it was kind of wiggling, to give it more effect and depth, hopefully. So uh, yeah, let's get started. We're gonna wanna drag in our clip uh, to a new composition, which you can see we've got here. Let me just close the other one, and uh, as you can see, it's just a little clip. I have a player just standing there, but I don't want it to move like this, so I'm going to find where I want it, and I want mine about there, that looks pretty good side on view, and where you want it, you're going to right click it, go to time, and uh, freeze frame, and uh, as you can now see, it just freezes the whole thing just on the same frame, and uh, you may think this may be a bit boring, you don't want to just have a still cinematic, but honestly, once I've finished with it, it'll be moving around. So we're going to just drag the clip outwards. We're going to need to give it quite a bit of room around the outside to do the wiggle. And uh, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. And this is to do the... Uh, we're going to need to cut around it, but first, I'm just going to also drag the adjustment layer to roughly the same size. That's perfect. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get our pen tool which is up here and on click on the adjustment layer and we're just going to go around the edges. You don't have to be that accurate with this. Uh, I am not going to be accurate just for the tutorial. But like if you're doing it for like a proper montage or something you're going to want to obviously you're going to want to make it more accurate so it'll look better. And uh, just what just uh what I was going back to Vegas earlier um I obviously have a Mac, as you can see by the actual computer, so I can't do Vegas tutorials, and uh, my brother has a PC, so I'm going to try and get that one set up with Sony Vegas, but until then, I was thinking, if you guys, any of you guys who are good editors, um, and uh, want to start doing tutorials, then, uh, oh, wow, an advert, <laughs> Spotify, um, if you want, um, well, what was I saying? Yeah, if anyone wants uh, to upload a tutorial for Sony Vegas, I'm looking for um, someone to upload some tutorials maybe once a week for Vegas. So if you're interested in that and you think you're good enough, just send me a message and I'll uh, I'll have a look at your tutorials. And uh, if I like them, I'll put them on my page. So anyway, as you can see, I have masked around the player. And we're going to want to go on to our effects and preset and type in Gaussian Blair. But I just typed in GAU and it already come up, so I'm going to drag that onto our adjustment layer. And uh, we're going to set the blurriness to, I like mine, at about 7.9. But as you can see, that blurred the player, which is not what we want. We want the background to blur. So we're going to go on our adjustment layer, press the letter M on our keyboards. And uh, you'll see that it says Mask 1, which is our mask. And where it says Add, you're going to click the drop-down list and go to Subtract. And now, as you can see, our player is clear, but this isn't, like, it's like, as you can see, it's kind of really messy because it just looks untidy. So we're going to uh, go on our mask and click the drop-down list again, and it'll say mask feather. I changed mine to about 120, and uh, now you can see that you don't have the little outline, and it looks pretty nice, you've got the player. He looks pretty clear, but then uh, you got the background, it's like blurry. So if I was just to quickly demonstrate how that, just because you mightn't see a difference, but if I click it off, you can see it gets a lot sharper, but then when you turn it on, it blurs out, and that's pretty good for, uh, if you want to just focus the, uh, the viewer on the player. And uh, just to make it a bit more exciting, I'm going to create a new null object here. Click on, uh, click on the null object, press the letter P on our keyboards, and then where it says position, it's got like a little stopwatch next to it, you're going to hold down Alt key, 
And you get this here, and I'm going to type in wiggle. Uh, and then do a, a open bracket, go 7 and 10, that's kind of what I like. Or well, maybe not 7 for this, maybe 5, that would be good. And now as you can see, I've, show, I've shown this in another tutorial, but I think this is a really cool effect. The little box wiggles, which doesn't do anything. But then when we go on this little spiral here, up next to our adjustment layer, if we drag this spiral onto the null object, uh, and we do the same with the clip as well, you will now see when we browse through, it shakes. And, uh, yeah, it, it's a pretty cool effect. It's not very hard to do at all. I just thought I'd show you guys. If I get 30 likes on this video, I will release another tutorial, possibly tonight. But, come on, I'm not going to get 30 likes today. If I do, though, uh, that's the challenge. If you do, I'll bring out another tutorial. And I'll do a colour correction for... Uh, uh, it's uh, on magic bullet looks. So I've got some nice color correction. I'll show you So yeah, but that's for 30 likes guys, so if you want that you got to like the video and uh, Yeah guys if you enjoyed this video, please obviously like it and you'll get the thing so uh, <laughs> Yeah, just subscribe to my channel for more daily tutorials and uh, Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this guys. See you later